Hello everyone. Today we will learn the basics of HTML. As you can see in the title, it is a super crash course. That is, it is as simple as it can get. So, what will we need for this? We will need a browser and a text editor. Here's a list of browsers and text editors you can choose from. I'll be using Google Chrome as my browser and Visual Studio Code as my text editor. You can choose any of them because it doesn't really matter that much. Now, let's quickly download VS Code by going to their website. And let's click on this. And I'll provide a link to this in the description. When you click on the blue button, it should be downloaded. Okay, before we begin, Let's go over a few important things in HTML. Let's begin with tags. So, what are tags? Tags are the things that define your HTML content. And they are used to create HTML elements like this one. So, you open the tag, so then you write your content, and then you close it off. And when you close off a tag, you need to add a forward slash. Now, tags mostly come in pairs, but there are also special types of tags, like the BR tag, which stands for line break, which does not, because it doesn't necessarily need its own content. Now, let's go over the basic HTML page structure. So, all your HTML pages should start with a doc type, which specifies the version of HTML you're using. Then, you have the HTML tag, which surrounds all the other tags on your web page. And what this does is that it tells the browser that all this is HTML. So then you have your head tag, which contains the information about your web page, like the, your title or meta tag with keywords and descriptions. So it is very important. Then you have your body tag. Whatever you write in the body tag is what will be displayed in the browser. Now let's put everything we've learned so far into use. Now I've already created a new folder in my desktop and opened it up in VS Code. And if you want to open a folder in VS Code, you can click on File and then on Open Folder and that should do it. And after that's done, let's create a new file and we'll call it index.html and you can call this file anything you want, but it should end with the .html extension. Now let's write our first line of code in our HTML document. Like we discussed earlier, it starts with a doc type. Then we have our HTML tag. And let's put our header tag now. Head tag. For now we'll just put a title. We'll get into meta tags in another video. We'll call the, uh, we'll type in my first web page and now let's navigate to the file and open it up and now you can see our title is my first web page and you should remember anytime you make changes in your HTML document you need to save them and to save them you can just press ctrl s now let's actually display something to the web page. So let's use the body tag for that. And in and in that, we'll put in an H1, which stands for heading one. We'll say hello YouTube. And if we save this, we can see a heading over here. Now there are six headings in HTML. H1 is the biggest and H6 is the smallest. So we'll quickly go over them. Now let's view this. Now we can see six headings over here. H6 is the smallest and H1 is the biggest. There are other tags as well, such as the paragraph tag, which as the name suggests, creates a paragraph. So if 
in a good text, uh, if you're using a good text editor and if you type in lorem, we can get some random words. And if we save this and read this again, we can see a paragraph over here. And suppose if you want a line break in between these somewhere, um, maybe over here, we can put that by using the br tag, which we talked about earlier, which is a line break. And now we can see a line break after this word. Now, instead of just plain text, we can also add images. And for that, we'll use the image tag. And the image tag is a self-closing tag, just like the br tag. And the way it takes in an image is through an attribute. Now what attributes do is that they give additional information about your tag. So you can have an ID or a name. But what we are going to use is the source attribute. And in quotations, we'll write the part to the image which is dot forward slash to indicate that we are in the same folder then the name of the file and if we save this and view this in our browser we can see the image now we can also add additional attributes like the width it specifies the width for the image and the height so we can make this bigger or smaller So save this and view this again. We can see it's a lot bigger now. There's much more to HTML than this, and these were the very basics to get you started. For those of you who want to learn more, keep watching Code Express.